What's going on guys? So after going to the scrapyard a couple weeks back, I've kind of turned scrapping into a little bit of a side hobby of mine. There's really not a lot of money in it at the scale that I'm doing it at, but I mean it's just kind of fun to pick up, you know, stuff out of the garbage can and, and turn it into, you know, a hundred bucks over time or whatever and, and just keep amassing precious metal. So I was driving down the road the other day. And next to a commercial structure, they're doing some renovations. And in the dumpster, they had this big pile of this wire. And being a new scrapper, I'm like, oh boy, wire, let me grab that. So, as it sits, I can turn it in like that, but it's much more valuable if you can remove the copper and bare bright copper. I mean, this, you probably get 250 a pound. I get like number one copper prices. Um, but, what a lot of people say is for the amount of effort that you put into removing the jacket off, you know, just standard house wire like this, it's really not worth the time to remove all the jacketing and insulation to get down to the bare copper. And in and, plain and what that means, for all the effort for me to remove all the jacketing off it, it really doesn't pay, you know, if, if I value my own time. But to be honest, I'm doing this just for fun. It's kind of relaxing being in the garage, and that's why I do it. So, in order to remove the jacketing and insulation, they do sell proper tools, and those tools can range anywhere between 20 to, you know, you can spend a couple hundred dollars on a real professional uh, insulation stripping machine or whatever you want to call it. Of course, I didn't want to spend money on that, so I made my own two concepts right here, and I'll show you a little bit of how they work. Okay, so here's my first contraption, and it's really pretty simple. It's just a piece of 2x4, and I drilled out a hole, and I drilled a hole right next to it, and then I connected those holes together to kind of match the profile of this wire, which is uh, a bit of an oval shape. And then I simply took a razor blade, I jammed that into the wood, and then I kind of can control the depth of this to control how much uh, or how deep into the wire I need to cut. So simply you just insert this in here. And as I insert that in there, I just inspect the wire to make sure that it's making a deep enough cut. And now I'm just gonna pull this wire through here. Now after I get this started, this outer jacket should just come right off. All right, so pretty basic. After you strip the outer insulation off, you'll find a bare copper wire, which I believe that's a ground. You'll find the black wire, which I believe that's your hot wire, and then the white wire, which I believe is a neutral wire. So, um, yeah, so all the wires are separated now. Now, the next contraption is what I attempted to design to remove the jacketing off uh, the black and the white wires. All right, so here's the stripper, the homemade stripper that I attempted to make to remove insulation all off a single strand of wire. So the idea how this works is obviously you start with the two by four, you drill a hole through it, you take a fixed blade, and on the far side where I insert the wire into this block, I put a piece of plate, this is just an old part I had laying around, so that this fixed blade could rest or therefore pivot off where it makes contact with this metal plate. And then uh, the fixed blade will fall, or well, of course, you'd have to press it in there, but the idea is it would come uh, directly in the center of the hole where the wire comes in and out, or well, goes through this block. And then you can control the amount of downward force this fixed blade has on the wire and wire's insulation by simply tightening down these screws, which, of course, in between them is a piece of wire. So the more I tighten down, this screw right here, it tightens this wire and therefore putting more downward force on the blade, which the blade of course then puts more pressure on the insulation, therefore cutting deeper into the insulation. Unfortunately, because this wood is somewhat flexible and this has to be a pretty accurate uh, device in order to slice down right to center and this has to be very robust, 
Uh, this device, unfortunately, has completely failed. I played around with it for a couple hours and it, it just really isn't doing the job that I intended it to do. So I did go online and I saw somebody else's design and I'm going to try and replicate that right now. So I'm going to take this wire, I have a caliper, I'm going to take a measurement of this wire. I'm going to take a drill bit that is slightly larger than the wire. This one's probably uh, roughly 20 thousandths of an inch larger. I'm going to take this drill bit, going to put it in my drill press, and I'm going to take a piece of angle and I'm going to drill through that piece of angle if I can find that angle. Here's the angle, of course, on the drill press. So I'm going to drill through there and then I'll show you what I have planned next. Okay, so I have a smaller piece of scrap angle. I have a scrap piece of one inch square tube. It'd be fine if I had two smaller pieces of angle as well, but I also have a razor blade and I'm gonna leave this right on the table like this and I'm only gonna leave maybe an eighth, about an eighth of that razor blade sticking out. And I'm gonna take a C-clamp or two and I'm going to pinch that razor blade tight in between my two pieces of scrap metal here, which will act as a holder for the razor blade. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this razor blade holder, which I've crafted, and now is where you need to play around. You need to figure out how much this piece of razor blade should stick into the hole that you plan to send your wire through. And I really don't like having the clamp on this side, so I'm going to clamp it on the other side. And we'll give that a little try. Uh, I also need to find a clamp to clamp this onto the actual table. Okay, let's give this a shot. Okay, I'm uncertain if this will have worked well yet, but it does appear to have done a fairly decent job scoring the wire. Um, it's definitely removed the plastic layer. My question is to go deep enough into the uh, primary insulation. Judging from the plastic piece coming off, I feel like we scored it uh, pretty well. The real test will be if we can get this inner piece of insulation off the actual black part of the wire. I'm going to start it off with a pair of pliers. It's a little difficult so far. Hang on. Got a pretty good bite on it now. And now it's just coming off like butter. Oh, perfect. It actually worked really well. I'm sure it's just going to take a little bit of adjustment before gets perfect, but I'd say that's pretty darn good where it's at right there. Cool. Okay, so from here I just bend it over in probably about a foot and a half bends. 
something similar to that. Then when I have last little tag line left, give this a couple twists, twist it around itself, just so you know if somebody goes to grab this, they don't really have a huge chance of them impaling themselves with a piece of copper. And it gets tossed right down in my copper bin. All right, so just to reiterate some of the points I made in the beginning of this video, because I always reiterate my points at the end of the video that I made in the beginning of the video. Yes, if you do run into a pile of wire like this, I mean standard household wire, it really probably isn't worth your time to do what I'm doing and stripping all the copper bear out of there, but uh, you will get a higher price, of course. You know, you'll probably make at least two dollars more but it is time consuming and it really is up to you I mean for me this is like I mentioned earlier it's therapeutic I kind of like it and you know you're making a little bit of money and as for the stripping tools I mean you, you saw what I did here I mean these tools are fairly simple to make you know just have a couple basic hand tools and anybody can really make this and you can make variations you know get creative but if you don't want to make your own tools I got you just look in the description below and I'll leave some links for some awesome wire strippers so you don't even have to worry about making your own wire strippers so anyway if you guys like this video i'd appreciate a thumbs up think about hitting that red subscribe button i think there's also a notification button down there so every time i produce something of this stature something creative different something that you haven't really seen on youtube you just be notified automatically that way you don't have to wonder and wait when the next video is coming because nothing in life is certain. Bye. Nah, alright. Have a good day. Bye-bye. But yeah, thanks for watching. Toodaroo. And I will see you on the next video. Hopefully. If you hit that button and notification. Oh, okay, bye.